Guy from Sea King Boats North Queensland and today we're water testing our 790 Pro Fisher. Uh, like the 720, uh, the 790 has a 6mm aluminium plate hull and 5mm sides. And with the extended roof and all the options we have on this particular boat, the dry weight came in at 1,950 kilos. Uh, with our 7.2, it was about 1.6 tonnes, so it's about 350 kilos uh, heavier. Uh, we have plenty of options on this boat. Uh, starting at the back, we fitted this uh, vessel with a 300 horsepower Pro XS Mercury. For those who don't know, the Pro XS are about 10 to 15 percent more power and they're more fuel uh, efficient than the standard Mercury. So they're a little bit more expensive, but it gives that a little bit more power. Um, you'll see here I'm sitting on our rear enclosed uh, deck. So it's a new feature that we've added to our last 720 and now the 790. Uh, it's complete with rod holders and the back part of it doubles up as a boarding ladder. So we've done that on both sides. So unlike other boats that just have one boarding ladder, you've got access to the boat from both sides, which is great if you're out swimming on a day like today with, you, with the kids. Um, we've also had a, uh, added a new feature to this boat and made a double walkthrough transom. So in the past we've only ever had one walkthrough transom on the port side, now we've also done it on the starboard side. So it's really turned a voided space, a space that was really not used for anything, into a really prime fishing spot. So uh, for a, a boat this size, you're going to fish three people down each side in a low comfort. Uh, we've also fitted this vessel with Lenko trim tabs. Once you get above the 7.2 metre, uh, trim tabs start to become not an option. They're really a necessity of the boat this size. So we've also fitted it with underwater blue squid lights. So pretty much put every option on this boat that you can get available. So from the rear deck here, we've got access to the main live bait tank, which is complete with another three uh, rod holders, uh, beer holders, which is done one if I do, and a couple of knife holders as well. It's got a, a clear viewing, viewing screen through the middle there, so you can see it, and it can be fully plumbed, the water just drains out the back so you can keep it on the whole time. Uh, at the back here, we've also fitted this vessel with double row rocket launchers. So I think all up is about 30 rod holders on this boat, so it's more than a hint. Uh, of course, our North Queensland customised extended uh, uh, rear um, hardtop. Uh, this vessel has also got the option of the carpet lining on the rooftop, on the side and in the cupboard. Um, okay, I've come through here. We fitted this vessel with two uh, power outlets at the back on both the port and starboard side. So for those people using uh, electric reels in that nowadays, you've got access to power in the back. Um, battery box, fold down seat for two people. And the transom walkthrough acts as a great little seat too. So um, you can basically fit four people across the back here when you're underway, no problem. One thing we have noticed, the previous 720 that we had, we fitted it with the new uh, Yamaha 250 horsepower V6 offshore. And the first thing we noticed having been running Mercury's for a couple of years now, was it was substantially louder. Um, say it wasn't a great motor we loved it uh, we've got some good um, fuel efficiency um, very loud um, grunty sort of uh, lots of power but um, substantially louder now this being a larger motor a 300 horsepower V8 uh, it is so much quieter than the 250 horsepower V6 Yamaha um, when we're underway with one person sitting at each side here you can easily have a conversation without yelling so that's one good advantage of the Mercury's, but um, either way, Mercury's and Yamaha, I mean, you can't go wrong with either. We're still playing around with the propeller on this one. We were fitted by Mercury, a Mercury deal with a 15 pitch prop. I think we can get some better stats going slightly higher. Um, we've just done a trial run with a 19 pitch four blade, and we're not getting the max RPM, but we're getting good cruising speed at, at low RPM, but it's probably just a little bit too Big, so we'll um, we'll have to play around a little bit more with that one. So back to the boat. Okay, fold down seats, clear view. We've also got the second uh, secondary live bait tank at the back here as well, which is also plumbed. Now um, that 
acts as a good storage box or rubbish bin as well. Under the, my feet here in the middle is the main fuselage, and this particular boat holds 300 litres of fuel. Our new 2024 models, we have upgraded the fuel tank. It's an exclusive feature to Sea King Boats North Queensland, and we're going to get 450 litres in all future boats. Um, so that comes at the sacrifice of losing the two kill tanks on the side, but this boat's fitted with the two kill tanks either side, which is a good size, or a good um, storage area just for tackle and baits and lures, or lures, things like that that you need to get access to. We've got a double row storage shelves at the side, but actually acts as a bit of a tow hole too when you're fishing. Um, the, the roof is inset like all our boats, so they don't interfere with fishing when you're striking. So you can imagine sitting here, you don't even know the roof is there. But after a long day on the water, it just provides you know so much more comfort having uh, friends and family and the kids completely in the shade and makes for a, a, an enjoyable trip home, not sitting out the back here for an hour, sometimes two when you're out of the reef, uh, just exposed to the sun. This particular vessel we've also fitted with the side access door, which is great for spear fishing, uh, pulling in the big fish and side access at the, um, at the mooring to get the passengers on and off the boat. It's a good option. We've also got uh, bar, LED bar lights to either side for night fishing and we've also got them included up here as well. Now this particular boat is fitted with an enclosed cabin, so it's a lockable cabin. Uh, adds a little bit of weight to the boat but um, the other option is you can actually have the front cabin area with a lockable door there as well but this particular one we've put it here, if you come through. A uh, little mini kitchenette fitted here on the starboard side, so it's complete with 50 litre freshwater tank, a little sink and a stove. Uh, storage underneath. We fitted this vessel with a suspension seat. Um, I'm a little bit mixed about it, whether it's really required. I haven't missed uh, at the suspension seat on the other boats because the 720 and the 790 provide a very stable, smooth ride even in choppy water. So I think it's a must on something like the 625, the smaller boat, which does get bounced around a fair bit. But in my opinion, the suspension seat, you kind of lose a bit of storage space underneath too because it takes up quite a bit. So it's really customer's choice. But for me, I just have the standard. On the um, port side, we have a drop down table uh, to act as a bench seat or a dinette table and a reversible front passenger seat facing the front or back. Storage underneath, we fitted this one, sorry about the mess up the front, but we fitted this one with a marine toilet as well right up the front. So again, carpeted cabin. We put the handrails through the middle so you can maintain three points of contact when you're underway. We upgraded the speakers and the Bluetooth music to a fusion, so plenty of, plenty of noise. And um, you'll see up the front here, we've fitted a 16 inch Lowrance uh, sounder GPS system. So it basically takes up the whole dashboard. So because of that, we've integrated the Mercury uh, engine controls into the, the Lowrance system as well. So it, it negated the need to have that other little vessel here as well, cluttering up the dashboard. All of our controls here from our electric anchor winch to the windscreen wipers, lights, bilge pumps, deck wash, uh, all thing, everything here at your fingertips. Um, the Mercury is fitted with the digital throttle, which is very, very smooth. And, um, and as we'll see when we're underway, it's also very quiet, as I said before. Because we put the closed cabin on this one, we decided we'd add the rooftop hatches above the, the driver and passenger seat. So uh, once you're underway, that provides so much airflow through here. It's really, really comfortable. So that's about it, I think. Um, we've got, we find that there's space in the front here to perfectly fit a 75 litre King's uh, 12 volt down fridge. So when we're doing one or two night trips, I generally have that one up there as a freezer and I run it to the cigarette plugs up here. 12 volt plugs up here and then uh, in the other boats we're looking to plan to have 12 volt slide out at the back so our newer models of the 790 next year we're going to just redesign this floor plan just a little bit better this is basically a standard layout from the factory no change at all so i think like with our 720 we've tweaked it a bit over the years i think we can get much more use out of the space here by just designing it ourselves so uh, we're going to have a bit of a play around with that over the next few months and introduce that boat next year we're also looking at uh, new models next year for around the june mark where the 720 and the 790, instead of having a 2.45 metre beam, the 720 is going to be increased to a 2.65 metre beam. 
and 790, this one will be increased to a 2.85. That will allow us to do a lot more things and customizations in the cabins and the, the floor layout and it allows to really increase the fuel capacity of the, the boats as well. So yeah, with when you're shipping these in a container, especially when you have the, the extended roof, you've got a lot more components to try and bolt together. So when we first did this, the support bars had a, a metal plate on the top and they were bolted into the roof. So uh, it was very hard to get into and the seals are never quite flush. There's always a chance of salt water getting in between the two metal plates up here, here, here and here. So by paying more with the shipping and shipping in this deck cargo, everything is just a full world. There's no gaps, there's no, no marks, and it makes the roof a lot stronger. So we got the engineers to rate, give us a weight rating for the roof, and they rated it to 400 kilos. So we're gonna say 350, but it's plenty of, um, plenty of ability, plenty of strength for four adults to get up the top there and enjoy the sunset, have a beer after the long day's fishing. So we decided to add, you know, side steps to, to the side to get up to, to the roof because the kids were otherwise climbing out through the windscreen. I was scared they were going to break my windscreen wipers. And we also added this beautiful sea deck to the rooftop as well. So our new models were going one step further, adding two steps to the side and we're adding a higher railing around the perimeter of the top. So when you're up there, you feel a little bit more enclosed. Um, so it's a great addition to buy those sea bean bags and sit up the top there. We're also getting uh, the new boats to have the rod holders, the rocket launchers, a couple on each side, welded vertically, so we can attach an umbrella to the top there as well. So on the beautiful days where you're in the bays like Maggie Island, Island Hopping, you can really use the, the top there as somewhere to hang out, have a sunbake, have a, have a picnic and enjoy the boat. So I think um, it's a great addition and it's just the by, by paying a little bit more and shipping in a different method, it just allows so many more advantages. So for a boat this size and this cost, I think it's a perfect way to do it. We do still, if someone wants to do a build with us uh, we, and they want to save the money, we still can ship it in the container. Um, we have, just because we're in North Queensland doesn't mean we can't help you either. Uh, I have 20 years importing experience, so uh, we do have rates to act as consultants. So if you want to make sure you're using the best factory from China and uh, you want to get our customizations that are a culmination of years of tweaking and experience, um, you know, we can do a build with you where we just act as consultants and you uh, bring the boat in yourself, all the way through to full turnkey customizations where we do everything from the water test, the trailer adjustments, picking the boat up, doing everything for you. You just get in the boat and get on the water. So um, speak to us about that, send us a query. There's plenty of ways we can do it. Um, these boats can be shipped anywhere in Australia. Uh, so um, yeah, keep following us on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to us there. We'll put all these new reviews up. Uh, I'm going to do a little review about uh, the importing process soon as well, just to, to um, answer a few of the queries and a few of the negative comments about uh, Chinese build quality and things like that. So if you subscribe to us, you'll get alerted to every time we put a new video up. So do that on uh, YouTube and uh, I'll see you again soon.